Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So my Tuesday sucked royally, y'all. No internet at all, all day. It popped on for a little bit in the afternoon and then again a little bit in the evening, like a half an hour or so. Um, but overall I had zero internet. Um, and even when it popped on, it kept telling me that there really wasn't any internet, so I don't know what's going on with it. But anyhow, um, my plan is to have this ready to go to load online as soon as the fix guy comes tomorrow. Um, so I can make sure this gets out on time. Um, so I'm actually filming this part on Wednesday night or Tuesday night. I know day of the week it is. I really do on Tuesday night. Um, just so I can have it ready. Um, it's amazing how much we rely on the internet nowadays, just as a point in case. I literally was like, oh, I'll go do this. Oh, I can't need the internet. Oh, I'll do this. I can't I need the internet. And then I um, was just like, well, that's okay. You know, it's whatever. And then I uh, went and I tried to get everything kind of how it needs to be, that kind of thing. Um, in the house... My husband decided to paint the room I'm using for my new recording room, and he didn't get my board hung up that I want up, so I'm still not ready to record in there yet, but it's coming. I promise it's coming. It was so much better when I have that space, just so I have a place I can always go, and you guys can see my current status state updates. Um, hoping I can launch it for Thursday when I do my weigh-in video, um, but we will see. But anyhow... So needless to say, um, that is what's going on with my happy internet. Um, so today, um, I didn't have any internet and the plan had been, um, to order from like a delivery company that we have that's here in town and get a salad because we had forgotten to go to the grocery store last night or well, in this case, Tuesday night, Monday night, Monday night. I hate recording on the night before. I prefer to record the same day, gal. I just can't do this. But anyhow, um, so Monday night, we had forgotten to go to the grocery store because my husband dozed off and I was busy doing something before I realized it was like 10 o'clock at night. So I made him take a shower and go to bed. So yeah, I didn't get anything for lunch today. So I ended up having some Halo Top ice cream for lunch. Probably not the best thing, but it's only 180 calories. So not so bad. So my calories for March 25th, which was Monday, was 1,002. My calories for yesterday were 990. Last night for dinner, I had a chicken breast um, and some non-GMO pasta. That's also organic. Um, I made sure I measured everything out so that I got the exact right amounts. I actually couldn't finish it all, but I still, it all had to go into my thing the way it did. But I, it wasn't a ton that I didn't eat, but I didn't eat all of it. I was just so full. It just wasn't, it just filled me up really fast, especially pasta. Um, it just really filled me up. Um, still doing good on my water. Still getting tons of water. Still starting every day off with my, with what I call my uh, employee of the month, which is my teacup. Although I went through since coffee, and I think it's hysterical. I'm like, no, it's not coffee, it's tea. I don't drink coffee. Um, coffee actually makes me sleepy, which is very strange, but it's whatever. Um, but yeah, so today's video, we are going to show you a video uh, that we made of prepping a meal. Um, it is a meal that I got from the DDP program. It is called Linda's Pecorino Romano Chicken, something like that. Um, basically, it's just veganese, Pecorino Romano cheese grated, and um, we use chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast or chicken thighs. The recipe calls for breasts, so we had boneless, skinless thighs. That's what we used. Um, and we did this Monday night. Um, and then you top that with panko crumbs or any other, like, non-GMO, non-actual breading cr uh, crumbles that you put on top. And it was really good. Um, and pecorino romano cheese, in case you don't know, is from Tuscany. And it is um, a goat cheese. It's a hard goat cheese, and it's really good. I love it. It's like one of my favorite cheeses. Um, so, yeah, so that's the, what we're going to show you is how we prep that with a little bit of the recipe information inside. If you 
want a written recipe, just shout it out down below and I'll add it to the co to the commentary. Um, but it was really, really good. Um, Thursday, I'm just going to do my weigh-in. And then Friday, I'm going to do my smoothie video. Just so you guys can see what I stick in my smoothies because some of a little bit different. Hey guys, so we are going to make um, a GDP recipe. It is uh, Linda's something chicken. I can't remember exactly. Linda's Romano crusted chicken. Um, they make it with ch three chicken breasts that they then slice in half. Um, we are actually going to use chicken thighs. That's what we had. So there's six chicken thighs here. The reason they can slice it in half is because chicken breasts are usually a lot thicker. The thighs are thinner, more like a half a chicken breast. So we're just going to do six thighs. Or you can do three chicken breasts cut in half. We have got a cup of vegan A's, which I'm going to stick in the bowl. Vegan A's is not normally my favorite thing because I really like real mayonnaise. And this definitely is not mayonnaise. Um, that cute little measuring cups. Okay, so then we're going to put in two-thirds of a cup of Pecorino Romano cheese. This is a sheep cheese from Tuscany, Italy. So there's the first one. I'll put this in here. And I'm just going to fresh grate it. I make a mess when I grate my cheese, but it's okay. Comes out pretty quick. Two-thirds. Woo! Now I'm just going to mix that all together in here. So it's kind of mixed in evenly. Okay. And you want to set your oven preheat oven to 375 and you cook it for 20 to 25 minutes. You're just going to take your mixture and just spread it. Drop it and spread it on top of the chicken breast or thighs in our case. Ugh, making a mess, y'all. Trying to spread it a little bit evenly. So we got everything pretty much out of the bowl. So I'm just gonna spread this kind of evenly all over the chicken that we have in the in the in the baking dish. It's evening. My English is not so good at night. I don't know what language I'm speaking, but not so much English. Okay, so we'll put that in there. Now the next thing we're going to use is um, panko crumbs. We're going to use two thirds of a cup of panko crumbs. And I'm going to put them in my measuring cup. And it's okay if I use the same measuring cup I use for the cheese, just to save on dishes. Okay. I'm just going to kind of like evenly sprinkle it over the top of the chicken. So this is the first third of a cup. One more. Okay. I always make a mess when I cook. I say it's because I'm Italian. Or other people say it's because I rush. Okay. So that is ready to go. And this is what it looks like before it goes in. And we will see you guys back in 25 minutes, and I will just show you a picture of what it looks like when it comes out. We'll be pressure cooking some potatoes to go with it, and other than that, that will be our dinner. So we'll see you in a little bit. So if you try this recipe and you love it, Make sure you let me know. Comment below. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.